Today I have three updates slash tips for your camper van. The first one is uh, the shelf. I'm going to update the shelf in the front or, uh, over the cab. The second one is our bed is fixed. So I want to show you um, what was wrong and show you the part that they replaced. And then third is a security screen for the sliding door. Some of you might remember a couple months ago, I did a video and included um, installation of this new shelf that we have, this new cab shelf. It's made by a company called Vancelary, and what they do is provide the four brackets and the template to cut out a half inch plywood shelf. And I, um, I had described on that video that I'd had to insert the shelf about 15 times making small trims the entire, um, you know, each time until I got it to fit. Now, uh, Vancelary has contacted me because they wanted me to measure my cab to make sure that this model, because it's Pleasure Way, didn't have some, maybe it was smaller or something. And um, it, it doesn't appear to be, it appears to be a normal size um, uh, Mercedes printer cab. But uh, I had a viewer who made a suggestion that I thought was really good, and that was to cant, cant your blade of your saw. So you want to angle it so that you follow the angle of the headliner. And that way it probably would have fit a, a lot easier and better. And then uh, Vancelary uh, has also sent me a code, a 15% code that you can use if you're interested in this shelf. Um, and I have really come to really like this shelf more than the one that's made with the wire rack because it doesn't, it doesn't move around at all. It is kind of locked in. Um, but I did make what I think is an improvement because it, is a, it isn't as deep as the other shelf, the one that George at Humble Road did. It's, um, so we lost a little storage, but I think I've gained all that storage back in this. So I came up with this idea to uh, get a cargo net and I'll put a link to the size that I got. So I installed the cargo net um, underneath here and then I purchased some little, these are, these knobs are actually cabinet knobs and installed this little um, loop up here to catch it. The cargo net comes with these little round clippy things that the corners hold on to. There are only four of them and you really need something else to hold it up against this shelf. So I kind of fashioned my own little hooks using really large washers. So you'll have to figure out something like this if you want to do this sort of an idea. I had a couple of people ask about the airbags and whether these uh, this shelf would interfere with the deployment of the airbags. And I contacted Vantillary and they said no, that the airbags uh, deploy straight down and so that shouldn't interfere. And then on the, and I can store two toddler pillows plus my pillow up here. So that's been really great. But the other thing I like about it is that, so this is my insulated um, cab screen. I had to make another one because I, I screwed up on the cut of my original one. Um, but I went down to Target and purchased one, the single panel. It's a blackout curtain, but it's not, it wasn't very thick. And so, where were we? It was a little cold. We, oh, we were coming back from Oregon and the weather got rather chilly. So I thought, I think I need to insulate this and line it. I was going to use the warm window fabric that I used in the windows, but they were all out of it. So instead I purchased some 100% cotton, um, not batting, but it's sort of like that. I'll do, I'll get some and show it to you. And, and some, then I got some uh, fashion fabric to line it with. So it is now, I guess, three or four layers thick. And what I like about this is that I could put Velcro all along here. And then I added these little Velcro dots 
So I've got some sewn on here and then these little sticky ones. And so I can span that whole gap like that. And then over here, I've got some along the side here. So that's really great for keeping out the heat and the cold um, at night. Uh, so I wanted to show you that and what I had done. When we were out at Anza Borrego, I got a tip from Mark. Um, he was telling me, you know, I've always noticed that, uh, um, that one window on the sliding door, it'd be easier for someone to break into that and open your car and get in. And so he had installed a security screen on that window. And so I want to show you that. And I'll also provide a link to that, uh, to this item in the description box. This comes with uh, this comes with screening on the back of it, so I'm assuming you remove this one, and then I also assume you have to remove this, so these buttons come off. Okay. You should definitely have with you one of these bits, these square bits. I forgot what they're called. I want to shoot how weird this is. <laughs> Had to lift up this, and then go through. Do you see where I'm going through? Go underneath. <laughs> yep, there we go. There we go. There's one coming out. Oh, good. Got to use an impact. Drag it. Mark said it was tough going through this, but it's tough. Mm. Smoke. Can you smell it? There we go. It's going through something. Oh. Ah, there we go. There's a little cap on. We go. Okay. I want to go over where I ended up putting extra screws or any screws. So there's one. There's one back here that I had to drill. And then I used the existing screw hole that Pleasure Way had drilled here. And I added a screw here. And over here, I had to re-drill this one because it was off by less than a quarter inch. And then also, I uh, used this down here. And that was because there really isn't any meat to screw into along here. So that kind of dictated. But it feels really secure, so I don't think that's going to be an issue. And the only other thing I just want to clarify is there are two different kinds of screws here that when you remove the shelf. The one that was up here that Pleasure Way put in uses a Phillips head. The others were that uh, that tech screw that has a square, that you use a square bit, and I think it's a number, it's either a zero or a one. And um, and then that's how you removed, that's how you removed all the other screws that were below this decorative piece. The bed is fixed and we're packing for another adventure. But first, let me show you the part that broke. This is the part, and let me go around the back and show you where it fits into the bed. This is the new part, and the problem was right here, where it was it was slipping. You can see that it was slipping here. So now we're good to go. Since, the, since we cleaned this all out, let me show you, I've shown this before, but I just want for people who are new 
Um, just want to point out that the box, that the cover that goes over the lithium batteries here does not have to be here. It's held on by these two magnets. And so if you want to gain, oh, an inch, an inch and a half in storage, then you can just remove that. I might as well clean it while it's open. It's probably all Alaska road dust. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.